Hi everyone, it's David here from RF Shop. Today I actually just want to tell you what RF Shop is. So rather than me sitting here just um, selling what I need to say, let me go out downstairs and I'll, I'll um, show you at a presentation board what uh, in, in kind of my elevator pitch. All right, so what I want to do is really just give you a quick view of the type of products that we're doing, which I would assume you know, but never assume. Um, so we've developed this um, display board. This is the kind of thing we're going to use whenever we go to um, trade shows. Um, <laughs> whenever that is, is available again, because currently with COVID-19, nothing is happening. But that's fine. I mean, on the website, we stay busy. So this is a view of the type of products that we can offer. There's more to it, but I mean, you can only say so much, and then you just hopefully get the impression and people get engaged to understand the kind of thing that happens. What I wanted to do is here yeah, at the first bit, is um well, quite a shadow I'm throwing there. Anyway, the, um, that's the modems that gets people connected. So that's the core thing that you would expect to have inside your home. Now there's actually a gap here at the bottom. Um, so what I wanted to first show is these are the products that we sell. But this is not what we support. We support everything that that, that gets used. So see this picture as it is. Now I just add for the display itself, my um, Nighthawk and my Huawei B818, that's the complete display. So just to show the actual intent that you have a modem, there's a Teltonica modem, you can think of any type of Teltonica, you can get them through out of shop as well, or a Cellfi, the Cellfi is a well-known um, amplifier or booster that's available or legal in Australia. Um, as I said earlier in another video, you can get different models overseas for overseas applications, but here the cell phone brand is the only one that's acceptable. Um, what you would do is you have a modem, you need some form of connection. So specifically, we try to um, standardize all our kits with the, um, the TS9 adapter cable as such. So modem coming to adapter cable, and then you have a whole range of antennas. So what we have here is just to show the intent. This is the uh, pointing LPDA nice high gain rugged antenna um, gets you connected on a really bad um, signal area so definitely good one to keep the um, ever popular pointing um, expo 2 now this antenna as you know it's it's nice mimo it's 5g ready as is this one um, and it's it's working really well in um, metro areas and suburban areas and Areas where the signal is weak, but not a rural weak, like in this absolutely nothing. Um, that's when you would go to this one. So this is in, in basic setups and, and uh, outdoor setups, farmland even here in, in South Australia and in Australia, that would work really well. Um, of course, we are um, quite fortunate that we have some very nice Omni antennas to consider as well. So it all comes down to what is the best for a specific customer. We can't just say you always need to use this one or that one. You have to listen to what needs to be done and what actually the customer wants to get done. Um, this is an Alpha Omni antenna. Works like a dream. It's, it's a single antenna, so it's only a SISO. Um, it's only the antenna by itself, but it's, it's um, working really well from very low frequencies below 4G and well above 5G, and it still works like a dream. So you would just need to kit it up with more cables um, this is the um, also the um, very popular new Expo 1 from pointing antennas, which is definitely something that we are quite um, excited to push forward. Um, in between, I have three cables. The thing is, as I mentioned in the previous um, uh, video, cables is just a cable, but yeah, I mean, we have shelves here. I, I don't know, you haven't seen the shelves, but shelves and shelves full of connectors. We have drums and boxes full of cables because if you have the wrong cable, you're going to have a problem. So although we only show three cables, it's actually a, it's one of our best sellers. If not the best seller is cables from RF Show because that is really where we, um, we started off from. So longer cables, shorter cables, low loss, high loss. The thing is, in the kit, we give you a specific type of cable, the CLF240. 10 meter and that's to keep it simple so you don't have to worry about the cable what's the detail on the cable what's the connector we just we sort that all over so keep it simple this is the cable that you will do however if you have any project or custom requirements or anything then we can look at any type of cable i mean low loss high loss high performance low performance the, you know, frequency 3 gig or 3.5 gig that we use in, in 5g 
if I put my um, mobile internet hat on, okay, that sounds high frequency. If I look, look at cables and connectors and the actual design side of it, that's nothing. You mean you go to 6 gig, 10 gig, 18 gig easy with um, kind of cables. So our agency for Jibo, jibo.com.tw, certainly is, um, is very valuable, very important. So um, if you ever have any detailed requirements for cables or connectors, um, don't just think we are 4G, don't just think we are um, basically helping you getting connected. There's a whole field of cables and connectors out there that, that, um, that can be explored. And that kind of knowledge is what we bring into how we um, approach our cable solutions as well, as I showed in the previous video where we make custom adjustments to antennas, which is it's a huge thing for us. So do not forget that. On the antenna side itself, now one big thing is there's a big seller which you can't put everything on a board because it's just not possible. Um, the DR11, not to be, um, not to be uh, unmentioned, it's a, it's a basic 11 dB Omni antenna. Um, you can actually see this thing on a lot of, um, lot of websites um, you know, in Australia and everywhere else. As a single antenna, it works really well from low frequency to um, or above 2.7, so it comes available as a Wi-Fi antenna as well. The bracket itself supports the, um, as I have in another demonstration as well, um, MIMO, so you can have a single, put it up, like whatever you want, or if you have two, leave one, and you can have two of those, one like this, one like that, as, I, as we showed on our we website as well. And then the other thing, um, yeah, this, is, this is nice. So. <laughs> it's a bit like a lightsaber. It feels like a lightsaber when you have it in your hand. This is the uh, GME bull bar antenna. So if you look at close up there. That, that's a, a pretty, you know, pretty heavy um, spring base. So that would be, you know, it goes well with the, um, the Cellfi. They, they get sold as kits by, um, by the um, distributor and so forth as well. But the idea that we have, um, that we also want to test, is to have one or two of these on a bull bar. I'll take my, uh, my car, my, my ute, or if you're from South Africa, like me, my bucky, um, my pickup truck, if you're elsewhere. Um, I want to connect it to a RUT240. I want to see, can you actually get a good connection in places where there's, there's no good connection using that, um, that bull bar antenna. So there's so much to play just in the scope of these few antennas. Um, that's it. That's, that's on the 4G. So then move over to the other side. I'll show you what's over there. Okay, so on this side is more our Wi-Fi focus. So we have the board left is, uh, left is Wi-Fi, on the right is 4G slash 5G. So on the Wi-Fi side, um, the biggest thing for us is the um, agency that we have with Alpha, Alpha Wireless, Alpha Networks in, um, in Taiwan as well. Um, so they're very popular in the um, security and the indoor USB adapter market where um, you have devices like a this, which you can connect to a, a USB port in your computer or in your laptop to get a much better signal. These external antennas and the actual RF front end on the inside is exceptionally um, efficient and sensitive. So you can get much better range using this than just your standard Wi-Fi connection. Um, but then of course, we, um, we try to explore all the options with them on the Wi-Fi side. Um, there's a tube. The tube is the outdoor version of the similar electronics. So basically you have indoor um, USB adapters and you have outdoor USB adapters, USB and Ethernet adapters. So you can, can, use, um, can use it to create Wi-Fi bridges, wireless bridges and so forth. Um, they have a lot of Wi-Fi antennas. So if it's dual band, if it's single frequency, if it's directional, this is a, a MIMO outdoor dual band Wi-Fi antenna. So Again, the amount of options you have with Wi-Fi is, is, is actually insane. So, yes, we spend a lot of time at the moment on, on 4G on our uh, YouTube channel, but the Wi-Fi is the next thing that we um, really want to spend a lot of time on, specifically thinking about this thing in the middle. Now, I have shown you previously on the other side the um, DR11, which is a directional antenna. This is... There's a whole range of products, the um, Cam Pro products from Alpha. So you have a Wi-Fi Cam Pro, have a Wi-Fi Cam Pro Mini, and now RF Shop is happy and excited to actually come up with the um, Shed Link Ultra, which is the same idea as a Cam Pro, but it's a Shed Link. So what this does is, this product would go onto a remote 
location, an outside building, you have a shed that's 100 meters, 200 meters away from your house, you have an outside granny flat, you have, you just want to create a Wi-Fi bridge, but a basic one between a, a building on the outside and your, your house itself. What you do with this product, this connects together with the actual um, R36A, which is an indoor router. You have this thing on the outside. It's not just an antenna, it's actually a, a Wi-Fi receiver as well. That connects to your um, Wi-Fi network that's far away, the weak one from your house. You do nothing at your home. You just use this, connect, face that towards your remote source. USB cable, the USB cable is five meters that comes standard with it, or three meters, um, depends on the um, selection itself. Connects into this device on the inside, and on the inside, this creates a new Wi-Fi network using the remote Wi-Fi network as your source. That's it. For $230, you basically have Wi-Fi on the outside, um, on a remote building, a shed, a garage, a, as I say, a granny flat, anything out there. Um, we've had 200, 300 meters without, a, without any issues at all. The, the problem with the distance questions is how do I tell somebody what the distance is you can get? Because it's so specific to that setup. So um, I, I can't tell you this thing is going to get you 200 meters because if there's a whole forest in between, that might not work. Or there was another one and somebody asked me, how far can your system go? And I was thinking, I don't know what your situation is. And somehow, pss, stupid enough as it is, I said, well, I've, I've heard 200 meters. And then he said, ah, oh, it's a boathouse. The other product's got 800 meters, so yours is rubbish. I mean, I mean <laughs> shit. You know, I really, I should have said nothing because over water, it's a whole different ball game again. Anyway, so there's more. <laughs> I, I, you, you shouldn't be rushed when you answer certain questions. You should ask why do you ask, and then you actually get the information through. But there's also the um, proper outdoor um, access points and, and the whole setup that you can make with the Alpha products. And then, last and definitely not least, I just wanted to show because this is on the Wi Fi shelf for a reason that it's a 2.4 gig antenna. Um, I want to put it in in the background so I guess just for the excitement side of it I want to show you this because this is a product called Zebra. Zebra is a 2.4 gig antenna so I told you we do 4G antennas and cables I told you we do Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi modems, Wi-Fi antennas and we also do antenna design and that is where this person comes in. Just see if I can do a close-up there. I can. Yes. Black Art Technologies, that's, um, that's us, but that's us as a um, design entity. So RF Shop is RF Shop. I've showed you what we do. There's cables. I'll just show you three short cables, but we actually have drums and drums of cables, and we um, have regular um, shipments coming in, like in weekly, and we do antenna design work. Antenna design, RF design, um, actual consultation. So that's something that's probably not necessarily YouTube material. That's why I don't refer a lot to it here, but... Um, this is the kind of antenna we can do. This is a 12 dB MIMO 2.4 gig antenna. So this could be a use ideal. It's ideal for um, you know indoor Wi-Fi. Um, it, it works great and it's, it's quite good on trade shows to put it on the table because it's a bit it's a bit different and because it's different and it actually works really well. That's something that you um you know you want to make some noise about. But that's really it. That's um, RF Shop and Black Art Technologies. In a nutshell, as I say, this is my elevator pitch. Elevator pitch of, um, I don't know how many minutes this is going to be at the end when I'm finished, but it's slightly more than a trip from floor one to floor two. This is an elevator pitch that tells you, I think everything we do, um, as I say, cables galore. Um, just to show an example, um, this is just, yeah, we're currently busy with just showing me that's cables, cables, cables. Um, factor connectors, oodles of cables. That's it. So there you have it. That's uh, RF Shop in a very long nutshell. Um, if you like what we're doing here, if you want to learn more, please subscribe to our channel. Um, other than that, feel free to have a look on our website. Those products that I showed would be on the website, but we have many more products, um, Jibo specifically, that we, um, that we offer. So have a look at jibo.com.tw for all their products, because anything that they have, we can get in. Same with Alpha. Um, anything that Alpha has on their website, we, you can ask us for that. We get a price, we get it in to, to, um, to share what they have with you. Other than that, thanks for watching, and see you next time. Bye-bye.